Welcome to Marty's Garden, a micro farm on the mid north coast of Australia and New South Wales. This garden consists and grows under permaculture and agricultural sustainable principles. Lifestyle, sustainability, and self sufficiency is what it's all about. So I hardly believe that I would pull this garden off in three years if I didn't have compost and a good system put in place. And then adding the compost worms and building up the biology and building a balance in the garden. So there's good bad pests feeding on each other. The birds can come in and clean up the insects. Little green tree frogs living everywhere. Other frogs in the drain. Lots of stuff going on. Never been an ounce of spray. Not even an organic spray has gone into to the garden and now I've added some chickens to the space to go through the bottom and clean up around the area. See having a permaculture garden like that they don't go in and destroy everything because they just eat around the edges, grab the weeds, grab a few bugs and things and really make no damage at all. Well I've only got two chickens so that's not a problem really. They are great chickens and they're little warriors. They take on the magpies, the local magpie gang, they actually give them a hard time. The magpies started it. I love my magpies, but they started the war. They're very protective over their space. And two chickens have come in to their worm area where they like to feed. But look, they're locked away half the time. They're only about out half the day. So the magpies can get their own share. But not Henrietta. Henrietta is the old chick from the way back. Gertrude and Emily. They are chook warriors. They take on the magpies every day when they give them a hard time and really stand up for themselves. It's really, really funny to watch. Good singing, Maggie. Good singing. Just watch out for this crazy chook here. She's on to yous. When they go in the pen, you can come around, sneak around and get some more tucker. Yeah, you're keen coming that close. I wouldn't be coming that close. Hide behind the wheelbarrow. It's all on. Yep, there we go. <laughs> the magpies just fly a little bit away and just like, oh, that's so funny. Oh, yeah, Gertrude. Emily like the number one chook. She's the gal. So in permaculture, it's all about integrating systems that improve on each other. And what I've done is I've placed three underground worm farms at the end of the chicken coop. And this is basically there so when I'm finding worms that are displaced or when I'm making my compost up and I've got a few here and there and I want to keep my stocks in that area, I just put them into those underground worm farms. They then breed up, lay cocoons in there because I'm putting the favourite foods in there so they stay in there more often. And then as the stocks build up, they move out and underneath the coop. Now, in that compost, all through that zone, there is other worms, right? And so they're actually moving underneath the chicken coop as we speak. And guess what? The chickens have discovered that today. And they've started digging under the coop to the side of the coop near where the compost area is. It goes to show that those worms are now moving into that area because they're laying their manure in there. I'm throwing vegetable scraps in there. We threw a whole lot of lawn litter from the mower and then top dressed it with sugar cane. So it's actually like the perfect environment for compost worms to come in and feed. So beautiful place. It keeps my compost worms populations up. I can also harvest when I need to sell some or move them somewhere else. And it's an integrated system that you might want to implement at your home too if you think about it. Now, these work really great at the end of raised beds as well. And if you get an old worm farm, you can just put one or two tiers in there because you do see them online quite a bit in places like Facebook and stuff. And you can actually build your own if you can't find them. But I had quite a lot of worm farms lying around. So it's working perfect for me. And I'm gonna build it out further for you to see in time because I'm selling compost. I'm not far off selling compost worms. I just got to get more stocks. But the micro farm's really coming along. And in the near future, we're going to be growing more food here too and getting more self-sufficient. So that's going to be coming along 
in the lessons and the tutorials. I hope you hang around and keep watching them. We're going to whack on some music. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up before you go. Double thumbs up. And I love you all. Have a great day. Happy gardening. Music. Come on, don't forget the music. You. Bye for now. <laughs>